Okay, I'm going to show you a little tip about how we can batch rename files to make things a little more easily accessible in Live's browser. So we're going to start by adding a folder here. Um, I've, and I've, I've already and I've already pulled it up. It's got some samples in it. So we're just going to add that. It's under new samples here. So you'll see that these files are just randomly named. You know, they're just one through thirty here. Not too helpful. There's this application I'm sure you've heard of called Mixed in Key. And what we're going to do here is we're going to drag all of these samples into the application Mixed in Key. So we're going to go into the settings of Mixed in Key and we're going to go to the Rename File section. Here we're going to choose Key and Original File Name. Now in Key Notation, I usually put this as sharps. You could do whatever you'd like. But ultimately, the goal here is to now drag in these samples. You're going to notice that as this starts analyzing these samples, uh, they will be renamed in the browser. Now that Mixed and Key is done analyzing these files, we will notice that they are renamed by key. Uh, so now if you're working in, say, for example, F minor, you can just go type in command F in your browser and FM, and it will find all these samples in F minor. I try to do all my library this way just because I know that, you know, I'm often working in a particular key and looking for a specific sound if I'm sampling things or, you know, things along that line. It's just easier to organize and, and get things in that uh, category by key. Uh, because I often find that when I pull in a sample or I'm working with a particular piece of audio, it doesn't always line up. And this is a good way to filter it or at least know, you know, say you're in C minor and you're searching your library, you find a sound that you like that's an F minor, you automatically know that you're going to have to down pitch that by five if you want it to hit the root of your song. So it's pretty useful, but let me know in the comments what you think and thanks for watching.